Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 23 of the Elite Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Today, I'm in Koyasan. This is the Great Gates, and I'm ready to explore it. Uh, yeah. Back to the problem, but also if you want to, you know, learn more about my travels, check out my Walk with Larry travel channel. Yeah. And come to Discord and we'll hang out. Anyway, let's go. Hey, everybody. So, yeah, day 23. Let's go, go, go. Hope you like the intro. Um, uh, yeah, I'm still in Osaka for another couple of days. Today's problem is 60 30 arithmetic subway. So, sequence of numbers is called arithmetic. Give it at least two elements. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Fair. Uh, you're given an array of integer ends, and you have to find return a list where can be rearranged to form a thing. Okay. Mm. So one thing, of course, is that um, if they're arithmetic, oh no, sub array, not not the entire thing. Okay. Well, I was going to say it regardless. Um, wait. Oh, 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 L and R. Okay. How do I want to do it? I see. So basically, you have numbers and you have queries, and you're trying to figure out how to. Um... Yeah, I mean, and you just try to figure out how to. Um... Mm, how to enter the queries, right? So zero, zero. So now the zero of query. Uh, zero two four six five two 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 two. Okay, fine. Mm. So okay, so the thing to notice, and, and you know, sometimes you just have to do the math, and n is uh well the number of links, but n has five hundred elements, right? And m has five hundred elements. So what does that mean? That means that. If we do n log n on every 500 queries, what is that? How fast is that, right? So that means that it's going to be m times n log m. So 500 squared times log 500, right? What is that? Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm just using a calculator right now. 500 squared times log 500. It's about 674,000, which is good enough for us to do because it's, you know, I mean, it's back of the envelope, but, uh, but I think we're going to be fast enough. So, so yeah, so that's really the answer then, which is kind of a little silly, a little silly. Because uh, then it just becomes brute force, right? So, okay, let's do it. N is equal to nums, um, Q is equal to link of R, right? Um, answer whatever thing, and then now for what is it? Um, start n in zip of left r. Uh, is it inclusive? I think so. Yeah, uh, so then now we have kind of like a num start n plus one. We want to sort this, right? So then now this is just what I'm working with. And then basically for a b in zip of current, <laughs> da, 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 right? So th this allows us to look at adjacent elements. I'll rewrite this because I think that's actually a little bit confusing to read. But um, yeah, five da, 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 length of current um, minus one, right? So or we could start in one. I think eh, maybe that's a little bit cleaner. I don't know. As long as you're consistent with your convention, I don't think it matters that much, right? So uh, so. Delta is equal to current sub. Assume that the length is at least two. I guess two elements, yeah. One, oops, minus current sub zero, right? So then now, if. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, do, 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 do. Answer that append true. Uh, something like if current sub i. Minus current sub i minus one is not equal to delta. But we change it to force, and that's pretty much it. All right. Give a quick submit. Uh, I didn't go over it that in, in that much detail. That's my fault. Uh, but basically, the idea 
Um, hmm, I don't know why I just hacked out this one really quickly. Oh, but my idea is just brute force, right? Um, but there's a little bit more than that, I think. Um, so obviously it, we did the math first and we saw that um, O of N times Q times log N is fast enough because and Q is less than or equal to 500, right? And because of that, we just sort every time, which we said we would, right? And of course, all space is going to be O of N plus Q. Uh, depending on what you want to say, a reallocate memory with respect to current, but you also need O of Q anyway, um, because of the answer array of space. But yeah, but the idea here, uh, I think the tricky part that I didn't really go over is the arithmetic subarray part. Uh, the subarray part, I think this makes sense and you sort it. Um, the, the part that allows you to sort is that you can rearrange to form a arithmetic sequence. And obviously, the, uh, you can form uh, an arithmetic sequence if you know you go positive delta and then negative delta, right? meaning if you have something like, I don't know, one, four, two, this goes up and then it goes down, obviously. That just means that it cannot be arithmetic. Arithmetic means everything has to be either incremental or decremental with the same amount, right? Uh, and of course, the uh, they kind of fool you, try to fool you a little bit by going negative, but it doesn't really matter uh, because it's just you know if if it's negative, then you can just reverse it to get the same thing anyway, right? Uh, or you know not the same thing, but uh, a different but similar thing. Uh, but but the same result, right? So yeah, so based on that, um, you know the the thing is noticing ooh, what did I do that like for example you have I don't know a sub one a sub two a sub three a sub four a sub five right and the idea behind the arithmetic is that a two minus a one is equal uh, is equal to uh, a three minus a two is equal to this right and a four minus a three is equal to a three minus a two or something like that and of course if you do um transitive properly then you can just rewrite this as you know this is equal to this so we can just rewrite it as this and that's basically what i did here is that i just calculated delta for the first two elements and i just go for uh the entire thing for the rest of the elements um that's pretty much all i have for today let me know what you think uh if you have questions ask the question and don't say you know, don't say explain more because that's not like, just tell me what you want. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I have for today, though. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you all later and take care. Bye bye.